Now let's edit the save image state to obtain the base image name from a front panel control and the file number from the data highway. Begin by opening the sub diagram for the save image state. Want to replace this fixed string constant image.png with something that has more flexibility, allowing the user to specify the base name, and then we can also automatically attach the number of the file. I need to clear out a little bit of extra space here in the middle, and I'm rearranging the way the air cluster is handled. Now with this merge air cluster, we can take the outputs of the iMac write file, and then we can take this one from the incoming air cluster, and then we'll have one more available for the format into string that I'm placing right here. The string constant will look like the following. It essentially needs to stick together the image base name, which is a string, and that's percent %s. I'll use underscore and then percent %03d to indicate a integer value that is always formatted in three digits where all of the zeros are showing. This way we have something like, for example, image underscore 000 or image underscore zero zero one and so forth. Speaking of file numbers then, I'll pick off this value from the data highway. File number is located right here. Now at this point I need to create the front panel control and this is going to be a string control And with this control, the user can type in the base name for the image. I'll give this the name image file base name. And I'm going to fit that right on the top of file number. That way it matches the order in which the terminals will appear on format into string. I'll attach my string. Do a quick wire cleanup. Pull down here to expose the next terminal for file number. All right, now this formatted string is ready to go for build path. The string is bundled together, attached to the slash U for the USB drive, and then the file can be written accordingly. All right, there's the air cluster connection that I had mentioned earlier. I'm gonna need just a little bit of space right there. I'd also like to be able to indicate the most recent uh, image number that was written out. Let's call this images saved. And this is an integer style piece of information. I'll call that, or use the representation I32. And this gets attached right to file number. So that way, as we write out the image, then the front panel control reflects the total number of images that have been saved in this session. Let's deal with the broken run arrow by deleting that fragment and we're back in business.